Virginia Henderson theory. The four concepts of a theory are person, environment, health, and nursing. Person. According to Virginia Henderson, a person has basic needs that are component of health. A person is somebody who requiring assistance to achieve health and independence or a peaceful death. Mind and body are inseparable and interrelated. Considers the biological, psychological, sociological and spiritual components. Achieves wholeness by maintaining psychological and emotional balance. Environment. According to Virginia Henderson, environment is a setting in which an individual learns unique pattern for living. All external conditions and influences that affect life and development. Individuals in relation to families and minimally discuss the impact on the community on the individual and family. Basic nursing need care involves providing conditions under which the patient can perform the 14 activities unaided. And I will be discussing the 14 activities or the 14 components in my last slide. And health. Health is the individual's ability to function independently as outlined in the 14 components. Nurses need to stress on promotion of health and prevention and cure of disease. Good health is a challenge affected by age, cultural background, physical and intellectual capacities and emotional balance. It is the individual's ability to meet these needs independently. Nursing. Virginia Henderson defined nursing as the unique function of the nurse is to assist the individual sick or well in the performance of those activities contributing to health or its recovery that he would perform unaided if he had the necessary strength, will or knowledge and to do this in such a way as to help him gain independence as rapidly as possible. The nurse's goal is to make the patient complete, whole or independent. In turn, the nurse collaborates with the physician's therapeutic plan. And nursing is something that's temporarily assisting an individual who lacks the necessary strength, will and knowledge to satisfy one or more 14 basic needs. Assist and supports the individual in life activities and attainment of independence. Nurse serves to make patient complete, whole or independent. The nurse is expected to carry out the physician's therapeutic plan. And utilized care is a result of the nurse's creativity in planning of care. And nurse should have the knowledge to practice individualized and human care and should be a scientific problem solver. In the nature of nursing, nurse's role is to get inside the patient's skin and supplement his strength, will or knowledge according to his needs. Now I will discuss the 14 components of Virginia Henderson's need theory. So the first component is breathe normally, eat and drink adequately, eliminate body weight, move and maintain desirable postures, sleep and rest, set suitable clothes, dress and undress, maintain body temperature within normal range, keep the body clean and well groomed and protect the integument, avoid dangers in the environment and avoid injuring others, communicate with others in expressing emotions, needs, fears and opinions, worship according to one's faith, Work in such a way that there is a sense of accomplishment, play or participate in various forms of recreation, learn, discover or satisfy a curiosity that leads to normal development and health and use the available health facilities. These are the 14 components. Thank you. Hey everyone, I am Dana Rigor and I will be discussing to you today the assumptions based on Virginia Henderson's definition of nursing. First, independence is valued by the nurse and the patient more than dependence. The client's independence is promoted and encouraged. Ultimately, the sooner the person can care for himself or herself, find health information or carry out prescribed treatments, the better off the person is. It is hoped that the recipients of care feel that the choice is their own. Second assumption is health has a meaning sh shared by the society at large. Henderson explained how the factors of age, cultural background, physical and intellectual capacities, and emotional balance affect one's health. Henderson uh, believed that nurses should be in the forefront of those who work for social justice, for a healthful environment, for access to adequate food, shelter and clothing, and universal opportunities for educational and employment realizing that all of these as well as preventive and creative health health care are essential to the well-being of citizens the third assumption is individual desires health or a peaceful, peaceful death and will act in such a way to achieve this the most important thing is that individuals should have good recognition of their present condition and by all means work towards the acquisition of the desired health state fourth 
Individuals will perform activities leading to health if they have the knowledge, capacity, or will. The individual is by nature functional and can care for himself. However, due to the presence of a health condition, the capacity for self-care is compromised or limited. The role of the nurse enters the pictures to be of assistance to the individual in providing for needs until such time that the individual learns the necessary skills and knowledge to care for, for self again in order to achieve optimal health. Fifth, the individual's goal and the nurse's goal are con congruent. Activities by the nurse can only be meaningful if they also, comp also comply with the individual's goal for health. Therefore, the nurse should explore about the individual's goal for care and integrate this in providing nursing care. Moreover, the uniqueness of the individual's condition should also be acknowledged to make nursing actions more resilient for sorry, more salient to the person's needs. Sixth, the 14 basic needs represents nursing's basic function. Henderson's considered the biological, psychological, sociological, and spiritual components of nursing, wherein she referred to humans as having basic needs that are included in these components. Seventh, Nursing's goal may be sub subsumed into the medical treatment plan. Henderson also emphasized that nursing activities are planned with the individual. However, it must also be in accordance with the therapeutic regimen of the physician. Likewise, nurses also take responsibility for the care of the person in the absence of the physician. And lastly, the major explicit assumption is Henderson's contention that, that the nurse is an independent practitioner. As a member of the healthcare team, Henderson expects nurses to carry out the therapeutic plan of the physician. It is the nurse's responsibility to assist the individual to recovery or to provide support in dying. The ideal situation for a nurse is to fulfill participation as a team member with no interference with the nurse's unique functions. The nurse serves as a substitute for whatever the patient lacks in order to make him or her complete, whole, or independent, considering the person's physical strength, will, or knowledge to attain health. Thank you so much. So our case is about a 78-year-old man presents the emergency room with garbled speech and severe right-sided weakness involving the face, arm, and leg. He was watching the 11 o'clock TV show when suddenly he fell over to the right side unable to speak. His daughter called the ambulance immediately and he was taken to the emergency department. He was suspected to have a stroke. His medical history revealed that he has three episodes of garbled speech in the last months, lasting about 15 minutes each. He is known to be hypertensive for the last 10 years. He has a stable angina. He is also an ex-smoker for three years. He is known to have a borderline cholesterol, but it is controlled under diet. His medications include metoprolol 25 mg 2 times a day, hydrochlorothiazide 25 mg once a day, and nitroglycerin sublingual as needed. His medication revealed that his blood pressure is 200 over 110 mg per mercury. His heart rate is 80 beats per minute and is regular. His respiratory rate is 20 with upper area wheezing. His temperature is 37.8 degrees Celsius on admission. His cardiovascular status, his heart sounds is normal, there is no murmur and breath heard on left side of the neck. Abdominal is soft, non-tender and no masses noted. His neck is absent of stiffness. CNS examination reveals that pupils are equally reactive to light and accommodation. Gaze preference to the left possible right visual field loss. There is a right facial droop. There is a receptive aphasia. There is a severe weakness at the right arm, or 0 over 5, and right leg weakness with a rate of 1 over 5. Sensation is decreased on the right side of the body to pin prick. There is a right Babinski reflex, and there is also mild, mild hyperreflection. Upon initial investigation in the emergency room, patient was in a stroke code. There is no known allergies, and CT scan reveals that there is no hemorrhage, and there at the left there is a left hyperdense MCA sign, and there is also no subacute sub changes. 
Upon interview to the family, it was indicated that he was fully dependent, independent before the attack. He is continent but needs assistance to go to the washroom. He can make he can make decisions but consult with his family and his support comes from the family. He was admitted with the a diagnosis of cerebrovascular accident. Client assessment focuses on assessing client's neurological status to determine alertness and ability to participate, assessing the client in a head-to-toe manner to determine the client's need, assessing the client's capability to gain independence, and determining the client's secondary decision maker. Client goal focuses on clients assisting in gaining independence that will aid him in his activities of daily living, helping the client care for himself within a familiar, supportive, and meaningful environment, enabling the client to express his choice, needs, and inquiries, and restoring overall health and promoting recovery. Virginia Henderson's protein component for basic human needs shows holistic approach to achieve physiological, psychological, spiritual, and social needs to be achieved by nurses. Nursing intervention and evaluation will be according to nursing diagnosis like impaired physical mobility related to hemipyrosis. Intervention for this will be positioning to promote contracture, leave pressure on affected body parts, change the position every two hours to prevent pressure ulcer, prevent adduction of affected sites to avoid dislocation or pressure on limbs, elevate arm to prevent edema, provide range of motion exercises to prevent further deterioration and to non circulation, plan short term exercises to prevent cardiac workload, also observe for pulmonary embolism, start rehabilitation as of patient's level of consciousness, promote independence, pain related to hemiplegia, to prevent pain to extremities, never lift patient by flashes shoulder, use proper movement and patient position for body mechanism, elevate arm or hand to prevent edema, provide medication as per the need, lack of circuit related to disease condition, assist patient in daily living activities to promote self care, encourage patient to set daily rule to perform as to promote self esteem, provide privacy and proper dress up to improve morale. Provide emotional support to prevent discouragement, lack of nutrition related to opium swelling. Plan a diet pattern with dietitian to maintain proper nutrition. Assess coughing, food dribbling, and gag reflexes to prevent aspiration. Promo- provide small bites. Have the patient sit up in right position to facilitate proper swelling of food. Prepare for tooth feeding if patient is not able to swallow. To promote proper nutrition, impaired bowel and bladder elim- elimination related to flaccid bladder. Provide catheterization to promote el- elimination, maintain intake and output chart to assess for fluid retention. Provide adequate fluid and high fiber diet to prevent constipation. Impaired communication and fam- family coping related to brain damage and family burden. Establish Conductive environment remains sensitive to patients' need to promote communication, provide emotional support to gain confidence and reduce anxiety. Speak so slowly, provide the patient proper time to speak to enhance thought process, provide counseling and support to promote family adjustment, provide proper information to family about disease condition to avoid misconceptions, encourage family to support patient to improve emotional support for patient. <laughs> Evaluation will be show the patient will have the following. Improved mobility, free of pain, patient will be able to perform self-care, use of adaptive equipment, demonstrate Safe swelling, have normal bladder and bowel elimination, shows improvement in communication, maintain intact skin without breakdown, family demonstrate positive attitude and coping mechanisms. So to conclude, Henderson's theory emphasized that client is a unique 
and should be the focus of the nursing practice. The theory also emphasizes the importance of increasing the client's independence to promote healing and to achieve maximum potential. Also, the patient should meet the 14 basic human needs and to assist nurses in working with individuals, families, groups, and communities.